It's been back-to-back years of floods. Now, Australia is staring down the barrel of the other extreme. After a long stretch of soaking wet weather under the La Nina climate pattern, we're now facing an El Nino, a hugely influential factor in the world's climate, which has just been declared for the first time in eight years. In Australia, the natural phenomena brings hot, dry conditions, particularly in the eastern states. And it all comes down to a complex interaction between two systems, the ocean and the atmosphere. In a normal year, trade winds blow relentlessly from east to west, pushing warm seawater and moisture-rich winds toward the western side of the Pacific, in turn cooling the eastern Pacific. This provides a source of rainfall for Australia. But during an El Nino, that pool of warm water and the tropical rainfall it helps create is shifted away from Australia, with sea surface temperatures over the central and eastern Pacific becoming unusually warm. This also triggers a change in the atmosphere, weakening the trade winds, sometimes even reversing them, and locking the event in until autumn next year. The end result for Australia is less rain, as well as hotter temperatures, an increased frost risk, reduced number of tropical cyclones and later onset to the monsoon in northern Australia, and increased fire danger in southeast Australia. Australia is yet to feel the effects of the current El Nino, and no two events are the same, nor does it guarantee a dry outcome. But current models indicate this year's event could be one of extreme magnitude. Ocean temperatures in the heart of El Nino territory are rising, already past the threshold of 0.8 degrees, and are expected to rise even further by the end of the year on par with some of the worst El Ninos in recorded history. While that would have significant global impacts, for Australia, a strong El Nino doesn't always bring dire consequences. It is still a way off before we know the full extent of what this event will bring with the peak during spring and summer. Nevertheless, the message from authorities is to get ready for a dry few months ahead regardless with the broader climate outlooks tipping August to October to be drier than normal for much of Australia.